In July alone, we will see many major initiatives taking off. Just last Friday, I officiated at the launch of River of Life to clean, beautify, and develop the Klang and the Gombak rivers. Ya Muhammad Dato Peter Chin will launch the sustainability via energy efficiency or SAVE campaign this Thursday. And on Friday, I will launch the Sungai Buloh Kajang line of the much anticipated Klang Valley Mass Rapid Transit project. And months after months, the delivery task force meetings for the six national key result areas of the government transformation program has taken place without lapse under the stewardship of our Deputy Prime Minister Yang Muhammad Tan Sri Datuk Haji Muhyiddin Haji Muhammad Yassin. This is the text of the Prime Minister. <laughs> I have personally chaired the financial services and oil, gas and energy monthly steering committee uh, meeting since October 2010 and steering committees for the remaining 10 national key economic areas or NKAs have been taking place like clockwork chaired by the respective ministers. We have executed the various initiatives swiftly and I'm determined to continue putting the pedal to the metal to ensure there is no let up on the momentum. The six SRIs that we share with you today embraces all the, 20, all the 51 policy measures laid down by the National Economic Advisory Council in its concluding part of the new economic model that I received in December last year. This is our answer. With the strategic reform initiatives in place, the framework for economic transformation is now complete. We will continue to be focused in our pursuit of economic growth and power that will reform that will enable us to compete, to compete robustly in the global arena. But that alone is not adequate. We also apply the same rigor that we have been doing with the NKEAs to the SRIs. In other words, actions, actions, and more actions. Ladies and gentlemen, in formulating the economic transformation program from the ground up, both the NKAs and SRs have seen an unprecedented collaboration between the public and private sectors. This win-win partnership continues as we execute the program, and already the green shoots are evident. Naturally, different players within the public and the private sector will have different objectives but we all have only one goal, to make Malaysia a developed country in 2020.